Alrighty, just wanted to do a quick little review on my new uh, uh, spin bike by Echelon. It's the Sport S model. I believe this is a newer model that just uh, like came out in January of this year. Um, I believe it's only exclusively found at Sam's Club. That's at least where I got mine. This is 800 bucks after tax. Roughly, you're looking at $900 um, or just a hair under $900. Um, it's an awesome bike. I'm coming off of uh, my father-in-law's Peloton Plus, which is an amazing spin bike. Um, but like myself, and I'm assuming most people, nobody wants to drop that kind of deal. You know, they're they're roughly between $23 and $2,500 um, for what they cost. And obviously Peloton makes the creme de la creme of spin bikes, and I've heard their longevity is like no other. But most of us don't want to drop, you know, almost almost $2,500 on a freaking spin bike. So this one came out to, like I said, just 900 bucks just after tax, and the fit and finish is awesome. It's super robust feeling. All the little adjustment points for, like, the seat and for, like, the handlebar adjustments, It's they're all, like, super strong feeling. Um, they use a lot of, like, Delron plastic-based stuff, so it seems like it would last a long time, and I can't wait to do a more in-depth re review, of, you know, once I get, like, 100-plus rides on it and see how the durability of it really is. But five rides in, um, I'm stoked. Um, there's been a ton of reviews on the just the Echelon Connect, which is obviously the one without a screen built in, and it just kind of connects to a TV or an iPad, and everybody pretty much has positive stuff to say on it. Um, this is just the S model that comes with the built-in screen, which I recommend. For a couple hundred bucks to have a built-in screen, that way you don't have to charge your iPad up and all, all that other stuff and link it up. It just already linked every time you're ready to ride. Um, I think it's worth it. Um, but other than that, the pedals feel great. They're not the most, you know, I, I have clip-ons, um, extra clip-ons for my mountain bike because I'm an avid mountain biker. I ride a couple times a week on that, and um, I can obviously put those on because I believe just use a 9 16 uh, uh, pedal fitting, which is like almost every pedal that is made out there is that size. So you can pretty much pop on whenever you want. I like these little sheep cage guys. They work well with any variants of a uh, tennis shoe and stuff like that. Um, I'm 6'3", 6'4"-ish, just right in between there. Um, and 187 pounds athletic build, um, super, super active guy between surfing, uh, mountain biking and racing dirt bikes, um, motocross. Um, this thing's awesome. Um, it's, I'm pretty much maxed out on both the part and the handle or the handlebar and the seat settings as far as height goes, um, due to, due to how tall I am. Um, so if you're over six, four, you might feel a little more cramped. It might still be okay. Um, but as of right now, I'm maxed out with my height. Um, and that's what feels good. That gives me a full extension at the bottom of the crank like you want. Um, but other than that, it's just super easy. It, the, you know, the screen is super, super responsive as far as like all the different little apps go. Obviously, it comes with the stock like six month or four month subscription, whatever came with it. It's super easy to sign up. You got to sign up online first. You can't do it off, off this screen. You have to do it on your phone and then you'll create a log and all that stuff. But there's a ton of rides. It's just like Peloton. There's a ton of rides to choose from. There's a ton of, uh, you know, de like uh, scenic rides. They go from the workout seem really cool. The screen actually rotates back. So like if you want to like set it in the middle of your house or in the middle of your garage, you can actually do like yoga and like weight training workouts on there, which is kind of cool. Um, but like I said, for a budget person looking to not spend Peloton prices, this thing gets it done. Honestly, I just did a 30 minute scenic ride and I was, I believe it goes to 32 levels of resistance on this. And I average at my highest, you know, um, 25. So I still had a seven other levels of resistance to go and I've actually maxed it out before and it feels like you're pedaling through sludge. So I find it hard to believe that anybody would max this thing out and be like, oh, it doesn't give me enough resistance. It, it, it feels really, really hard to pedal um, at max resistance. I mean, it, it is like just just going through sludge. So I think anybody's going to be super happy with it. Like I said, I'm a super active guy. And, um, you know, like I said, mountain bike all the time and, and, and do motocross and all that stuff like that. And this thing's an awesome way to get a workout without going to a gym. Because right now with the whole COVID thing going on, gyms are still kind of finicky. Whether they're open, they're closed, if you got to wear masks inside or not. And, um it's awesome. It's a great little bike. So if you're looking for one, I highly recommend this. This is an awesome, um, you know, budget, budget buy for somebody who doesn't want to spend Peloton prices and still get a great workout in. Um, doesn't take up much space as you can see. It uses a little uh, 110 outlet like in any household has to plug it in to get it uh, up and running. And um, that's all you need. It's, it's awesome. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them below um, and I'll do my best to answer them. But yeah, obviously not getting paid by Echelon in any way, shape or form. You can check my channel. It's mainly a dirt bike channel. Um, you know, I just want to review this because there wasn't a lot of reviews on the Sport S model, but anyways, take care guys. Happy cycling.